Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining me for what is a, really a sad occasion. Let me introduce you to Aiden Rodriguez. Aiden Rodriguez is 41 years of age. His wife is Carla Rodriguez. She's 35 years of age, and today is her birthday. Here's what occurred. At about 1.30 this afternoon, Aiden Rodriguez's brother called the sheriff's office and said that his brother, Aiden, was threatening to kill himself. Not only that, he was threatening to kill his wife. In fact, he told his brother, how convenient is it that it's Carla's birthday? Today's the day that she's going to die, and then I'm going to kill myself. Our deputies arrived at the scene and were attempting to talk to and de-escalate this, this horrible domestic violence event. And guess what happened? Immediately, Aiden comes out of the second floor of the house onto a balcony and points a, deputy, points a gun at one of my deputies and immediately goes back into the house. So for approximately one hour, we try to de-escalate the situation and get things under control. In the meantime, Aiden makes several phone calls. Some of them are to 911. He, in fact, calls one of our deputies and says, hey, I want to talk to you on a personal matter. Apparently, Aiden is a mechanic and at some time in the past worked on one of the deputy's personal vehicles. The deputy who knew him, tried to de-escalate the situation. And then at this point in time, when we knew how out of control that Aiden was, tried to get his wife, Carla, to come out of the house. And apparently she wouldn't. This goes on for approximately one hour. Then Aiden says, you know, when I commit suicide, it's really not going to hurt because I've smoked a lot of meth. He steps back out of the, onto the balcony from the house and he points his gun at one of our deputies. Our lieutenant who is now on perimeter shoots Aiden one time and he runs back into the house as the deputy who had the gun pointed at him also shot. We had an entry team on the other side of the house immediately make entry into the house and engaged Aiden and shot him several times. And he's deceased. After this was over, we also discovered Carla deceased. The investigation's underway. That's all the details that we have at this time. We certainly hope to release more information later on. If you have questions, you can ask them. But quite frankly, I've told you about everything we know at this early stage of the investigation. We just obtained a search warrant for the residents in the last little while. We are talking to witnesses and to our deputies. The investigation's underway. The 10th Judicial, uh, 10th Judicial District officer involved task force is investigating this and that task force is made up of law enforcement officers from the 10th Judicial Circuit. So the investigation is underway. When the investigation is complete, we'll send our findings from the task force to our state attorney who is an outstanding state attorney, Brian Haas, and he will have the final review of this event. Any questions? We have no idea of the sequence inside the house after he came out and pointed the gun for a second time at the deputies. What we know is that they have had ongoing problems according to one relative for about five years. Carla was apparently arrested for domestic violence this last summer against him. They have three children together two twins that are four years old and I believe a five-year-old. She has two additional children in addition 
to the three that they've had together. So that's the details that we know about the family and we're not sure of the circumstance, but we know Carla is deceased and we shot Adrian to protect ourselves and in an attempt to rescue Carla from the house. That's still under investigation. He pointed the gun at us twice. He threatened to kill himself. He said he was gonna kill his wife on her birthday and she's dead in the house. So that investigation is clearly still underway. But here's the bottom line to it. We don't wait for people to shoot at us in order to save lives, our life, and obviously the victim's life as well. So. Once again, this information is brand new and will provide additional information at a later date. When you mentioned that, there, that you're speaking with witnesses, are, were there any other family members who were inside the house? That no, there was no, no family members inside the house. And it's a God thing, the children weren't there. They were with their grandmother. We're still investigating that. We have every reason to believe that it did based upon what we know at the early stages of the investigation. But he went back into the house. And that was the second time he came out and pointed the, dep at the gun at the deputies. The first time he came out, it was so quick, we didn't have the opportunity to shoot on that particular occasion. But we also had an entry team that immediately made entry on the other side of the house in order to stop him from engaging and shooting because he told us he was going to shoot and kill her on her birthday and when we engaged him with our entry team we shot him and he continued to try to shoot us and whether or not he got any rounds off or not we don't know because this was a dynamic entry to a very violent situation. Well, we don't know exactly what happened other than the fact that obviously he had the gun and was attempting to either point the gun at us, commit suicide, having shot his wife or shot his wife. All of that's under investigation at this time. But here's the, here's the issue. We spent almost an hour trying to de-escalate. He told his brother, you call law enforcement, I'm going to make them shoot me and kill me. And then he told, his, he told, I believe it was his brother on another occasion, I'm going to kill myself, I'm going to kill her, but I've smoked a lot of meth and it's not going to hurt. Can you also talk about um, the, for, for Aiden, I know you mentioned that Carla had a previous um, history of being arrested for domestic yes. violence. What about him? Aiden has a previous history for aggravated assault and domestic violence. One, I believe one of those events were in Polk County, one was in another county, but I don't know his complete criminal history, but he has some criminal history. Any of those were against Carla? I don't know at this point. Sure, I, I mean, it's evident. He told his brother that he was going to make us kill him. He told his brother he was going to kill his wife on her birthday and then kill himself. We went there to rescue her and to de-escalate the situation, and he pointed a gun at us. If you point a gun at us, we're going to shoot you. We're going to shoot you a lot. We're not going to let you hurt us, and we're going to do everything we can to stop you from hurting your wife, neighbors other people in the area. We didn't choose to shoot Aiden. He chose for us to shoot him and we obliged him. Okay, thank you very much.